Hi everyone, my name is Alessandro Paoli and I'm working for Zurich Livewell. Uh, it's a company owned by Zurich Insurance Group. It's the digital health and well-being company. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here today. I, it's basically every year I joined the Italian Insurance Association in this amazing summit. And today I am pleased to talk with you about uh, ecosystems and the importance for ecosystems for insurance players. Let's start with the customers. I always like to start with the customers first. Customers are sending us a very important message. They want more from their insurers. There is a survey from Bain's Global Customer Survey with more than 170,000 customers that shows a clear indication that 80% of the customers in the major markets are either welcoming or at least are open to additional services beyond insurance on the same platform. The best players and the most forward-thinking players are taking benefit of it by creating ecosystems. And what are ecosystems? Ecosystems are related services. As an example, in my case, telemedicine product you have around the core product, the core insurer product. Or in some situation for like property insurance can be a smoke leakage monitoring the, you know, full detection. Or in my case, again, the health diagnostics or health services next to insurance services. And we see that customers love it. And you can really wow your customers because you can now provide positive outcomes and much more interactions using the same platforms. And you can uh, attract new customers, yeah, and drive price sensitivity down. Ecosystem winners will be those who identify innovative and personalized services. They implement them in an excellent way. They scale them quickly, and then they carve out clear routes for profitability. Within this ecosystem, the insurance company can take the role of a simpler service provider. This is the case of the sale of an insurance policy or the role of the, an orchestrator, the orchestrator of the entire ecosystem. Offer, of course, in collaboration with various partners. In the second case, it will have to equip itself with new and strategic operational assets and will become the owner of the end-to-end -end relationship with the customer taking care of every single aspect that make up the customer experience. Various insurers are demonstrated first indications of an ecosystem strategy positive impact. As an example, in my case, the user of health and well-being platforms have in general 20% fewer hospital stays and 10% fewer chronic conditions. This is likely because of a combination of selection effects and actual behavioral change. To be successful, Insurers need to define their strategic goals, where they want to play, based on their current brand positioning, based on their existing assets, and what parts of the value chain they want to strengthen. Whatever their strategic goals will be, insurers need to invest in technological and organizational capabilities. On the technology side, insurers should build up scalable and flexible API-based IT architectures that support quick integration into a seamless customer journey. Moreover, data management and analytics capabilities can help carriers take advantage of new touch points, always considering you know, data security and privacy regulations. On the organizational side, in the contrary, investments should be focused on partner management capabilities digital agility to support services, and a consistent cross-channel experience. Legal structures that also allow linking the different offerings are very important and also vital for, this, uh, for the success of an ecosystem. I hope this was uh, a benefit for you, and I really thank again for the invitation. It was a great pleasure to be with you today. Thank you.